Now we have to run and say hello to the good mechanic guy. Even though I think he was going to go get the mechanical leg to that one guy, or did he not leave yet? I have no idea how the series of events are working in this. Not at all. None of it makes any sense. Well, I guess it doesn't make some sense. But let's get going off of this boat. Now we gotta run all the way over there again. Hey, look, there's a guy running up to that gate right now. Well, walking around that gate. This makes us seem a little more lively. Just another street to go around. That weird guy. I don't know what he is or what he's doing. Into the Steiner shop. Steiner. Steiner, I need a new key. Because that other guy is a dumbass. Kate, how are the preparations with the captain coming along? Well, the captain's a We're dumbass. We're making progress, but actually we need some help from your grandfather. Is he here? He just left for the clinic with the artificial leg he made for the Yuko guide, Kirk. I'm minding the shop until he gets back. Maybe I can help you with something? Actually, we need a duplicate of the crystal's ignition key. I have to admit, I don't see where you could get one of those. Apart from the model downstairs, I don't think he kept a lot of souvenirs of the time when he built the crystal. Would you mind if I had a look? It's course, in the souvenir. It'll let you look at the model close up. Thank you. So it's inside the model. <gasps> I knew it wasn't useless. Oi. Here we go, model time. I already thought I turned this on, or the light on. Let's crank it up. Is that doing anything? Fantastic. Fantastic. Does it open up on the side? Okay, so something to do with that mechanic. Is there anything else that we can manipulate here? So there are four things. Oh no, there's this thing. Oh, never mind, that's the same thing. And do a series of combinations on this very awkward to deal with uh, spinning circle thing. It just never quite lines up how you want it to. So 30. 80 60 and then maxed out cool and then we can click this thing and I assume that's an extra key, what? Or maybe just like a shape to make a key. I don't, I don't get what I'm supposed to do with this. Do I, okay, so it's like that and then, oh, okay, then I can click it up. An ignition key. But it looks far too small for the crystal. Of course. 
It's a miniature ignition key. Okay, well I guess we should show this to Kate and see what she says. Oh, we use this. Probably should have looked in the box first, right? Small key. Key blank. Impossible. Okay. Well, good thing she knows what's possible. Alright, well, I think we gotta put the thing in here, right? delicate I like it and then we crank it and this magical machine works okay I right. 250 times probably 200 times two hundred times. Alright, let's give her a whirl. So Steiner had the time to finish the prosthesis. Perfect. Guy likes clocks for some reason. I don't know why mechanic people always need clocks. Don't worry. As soon as grandfather gets back here with Kirk, I'll tell them to join you straight away on the crystal. Sounds good. Let's get out of here. Thank you, sir. All aboard. Okay, let me get down here. Go, 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 go. Run. No, don't go back up. No, no, no. There we go. Yep, there we go. Run, that's a really weird tint underneath the car. I wonder what's in the rest of the town. Yeah, I don't care to look. Come on, man, let's get out of here. We gotta get to that new area. I gotta talk to the captain again. Probably gonna have some kind of other issue. I'm starting to think he was a very incompetent captain. I've got the ignition. I'm gonna be all like, what do you mean there's another problem? Why didn't you tell me that when I was getting the ignition done? <gasps> do we get to do it ourselves? That mechanism rises. Fantastic, Kate. I have to admit, you really know how to get things done. Damn right. Do you think we can leave now? There's just one last problem to solve the locks we need to use to get out onto the lake. They're shut by order of the town hall. You have to find some way to get them open. What do you suggest? The best thing to do is to ask Mayor Bulyakin for the authorization to reopen them. Which just to give you fair warning, he's about as straight as a crooked water spout. So you mind him. 
You couldn't have been dealing with this while I was getting just get a hold the key. Of some explosives and then kaboom. Hmm. First, I'll try talking to the mayor. Thanks, Captain. So now I gotta go talk to somebody. Totally forgot about the locks on the water. I'll be honest, I don't even know where the mayor is. <gasps> Maybe he's down that area I don't go down. <gasps> that could be it. I gotta say, I'm a little bit tired of visiting this boat. That is definitely holding true here. Maybe I should try like a different way off the boat next time. Keep it fresh. Go, go, go! I'm just assuming because I haven't had any other reason to go down here. Unless this is just a dead end over here. Do you know where the mayor is? Everyone's been surly the last few months. Can anyone help me? Hello? They don't know where I'm going. Ma'am? No. Looking for cigars or some hooch? I'm even cheaper than the nomads. I highly doubt that, because they give it to me for free. Is this the way to go? Oh, this looks like a, a mayor spot. I mean, there's like protesters, I think. My dear friends, keep calm. Please, keep calm. I beg of you. We'll calm down when we get what we want. Yeah, nomads out. Kick the yukos out right now. Oh, I can fix we'll this. It is I, American, here to solve all your problems. Again. Mr. Mayor? Yes, what now? Would you give the order to open the locks in the port just until... Ho, 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 ho. Please, miss. I don't remember you becoming a citizen of this town. You need to understand that here in Valsenborg, people don't usually shout at the mayor like that. Especially if it's to demand the extracurricular use of municipal infrastructure. Uh, now, would you mind telling me how such a notion came to a tourist visiting our good town? To get rid of the nomads? I'm actually accompanying the Yukul tribe on their long journey right now, Mr. Mayor. I've asked Captain Obo if he would take us to the other side of the lake on the crystal to now dusk. Oh, Captain Obo, the crystal, the Yukuls, do go on. Anyway, it would be very ungracious of me if I were to criticize you for removing that burden from our good town. Nonetheless, I'm afraid I must refuse your request, dear lady. The locks will remain closed until further notice. This decision came from above, you understand? You're risking I would a lot. be grateful if you would answer, please. Give me a second to think about this. I know you and the other people here would love to see the Yukos leave this region. And they will if you authorize the opening of the locks. So it's time to stop stalling, Mr. Mayor. Listen to your people and let the crystal leave. Who on earth do you think you are? I'm just following orders. Anyway, no foreigner and an American at that. Yep. We'll lay down the law here. Dear Mr. Mayor, I can see that beneath your haughty exterior there lies a minor civil servant who is used to hiding behind orders to mask his lack of courage. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. You are not going to get anywhere by insulting me. Why not? I would be... If you solve this problem, you'll become a kind of crusading hero to your voters. 
You'll earn the undying support of everyone in Valsambur. And your superiors won't be able to do anything to you. Dear lady, your arguments are not convincing. I suggest you find some other way to continue your journey, or if necessary, to file a request with the relevant authorities. Useless. But Good day to you, dear lady. No one in here is convinced. Can you can actually convince people? I don't think I've ever convinced anyone in this. Alright, I guess we're gonna TNT it then. So that we can get out of here. Time to run down the street again. Actually, I wonder if this guy has anything to say. The shopkeepers are on strike for the first time in ages. That's not good business for anyone, if you want my opinion. I don't want your opinion. I want to run, run so far away. Lol. Alright, let's keep going. Running down the street. Back to the ship. There should be an auto back to the ship thing, because this is getting really boring to run back and forth between the ship. Like, super boring. Oh, uh, yes, the same street I've been down eight times. I've, I've only been down the street once, but this one up here I've been down multiple, multiple times. And it's amazing that these street people use the same road texture over and over. Very creative. Run! Please, a little faster. I'm getting tired of all this running. Captain. They used to be standing here uselessly. Well? The mayor categorically refused to open the locks. Hmm. I figured he would. He's a complete lubber, you know. He's terrified of his superiors. We'll just have to use force, I'm afraid. Well said, Captain. Just try not to go too hard on the mayor. We just need to intimidate him a little bit. I don't want to hurt anyone. Oh, keep your sails furled, cabin girl. I never meant to imply we should rough somebody up. Do you have any suggestions? It's simple. You just put on a regular diving suit and go for a quick swim in that swampy water there. With a little luck at the bottom, you'll find where you have to open the port locks manually. I've never gone diving. But if you think I'll be fine down there, I don't mind trying. This has to stay between the two of us, Kate. There's something you need to know about the locks. They're also there to stop the lake monster from entering the port. Anyway, that's what I heard. But at this time of day, there's no risk. That spawn of hell sleeps all day. Okay, whatever. Where's a suit I can use? Meet me in the shed at the far end of the seawall. There should be something just about your size. I mean, near enough, anyway. I don't know, this should be kind of like exact, shouldn't they? Underwater? How am I supposed to open the lock gates? Magic. They're kept in place with some kind of steel locks. Just try and pull them out using their mechanism. All right. There's nothing to it. Yeah, sure, there is not. Meet me in the shed at the end of the seawall. Very well. Yeah, let's get going. We got to run out of here. Go, go, go. Don't get caught on objects. Let's roll.
shed. Looking for an old shed. Maybe the shed's over here. Oh. More like a bunker than a shed, but whatever. What's up, man? I opened the shed for you. But you can Couldn't have grabbed the suit for me, eh? Huh. <gasps> well, how do I get this off? I know this is what I need. Diving suit. Shouldn't I need the other suit? Because it's like a wetsuit. Like, drags out the most easiest sequences. And then it gives you, like, tons of loading. Diving helmet. Let me just put that in my pocket. Okay, so I need a tank. Down here. Of course they're empty. Of course. That would be the fun if we can't fill them up. It isn't watertight enough to fill the bottles. What does that even mean? go 180 because the thing says you know, the scuba tank says 180 down the bottom there 180 bar full air bottles okay 180 that's easy that should be good We are ready to rock this. Scuba. Scuba da hooba. Da. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. It's so dark. Nobody cared who Waka was until she put on the mask. Who's ready for deep sea adventures? What is that? Bubbles. <laughs> oh, the mechanism. I see it through all the foggy water. Run. It'd be hilarious if the ignition was down here. We could have just ran down and grabbed it. What is this? A large... Oh my god, the thing is broken. Huh. Ha ha ha. Right? Nothing works. Nothing's functional in this. It's like a dystopia. All those things in this have been like right beside each other. Okay, so I need to. Oh, these, they're right here, really? Alright, well, yeah, there we go. We grab them because they're on the machine. I don't know, what, what order am I supposed to do these in? Large cog? <laughs> kind of like slapped it right back in my face, didn't it? No. Why can't I just put it back in my inventory? Like, why would I let it slide down to the floor? Okay. Large cog in the machine. Now 
now we just need this one. Now we put that on the cog thingy or in the middle of these two thingies? I'm sure it'll tell me if I'm wrong. That's not right. There we go. We need something to connect them. Let's try something else. What about that knife I have? It doesn't work. <laughs> I just want the knife to be useful for something. Well, that's not right. Alright, janitor's area over here. Through this long, slow walk in this huge open water area that has absolutely horrible camera angles. Bum bum. I think you'd be faster walking in space. Does she just have no motivation to get there? Well, it would have run out of air by now. Why would they have a janitor's hatch underneath the water? Does this open the door? I, I can't tell. Oh, okay, well that worked, I guess. No, just open all the way up door. Why would I want to close the door I'm trying to open? No, that way. Does this go forever? Okay. Alright, well this side is open. I need one of these gears though, don't I? And I can take one of the, the gears? No? Don't I need one of these gears in order to do the other side? Okay, so I can click that one, or I can click that. Maybe in this new area there's something I need. Wasn't there the ability to hear her thoughts at some point? Alright, so we've got another open, huge water area that doesn't really make any sense to me and it seems to be just somewhere I can meander. Is there a gear here? Something? Thank you, thank you. Why would you even... Like, there's this huge other water area on the other side. And it doesn't make any sense as to why it exists. What on earth could have left these marks? Do I need anything else in here? Like, I just... What did I collect, even? I collected a chain. Don't I need a gear, too, to fit the spot? Or you know what? I just need to tie the gears to the the chain. Because that's how you get the gears of war. I got it. I hope. Isn't the ski gate technically open? Or is it just the one part? You know. Looks fairly open to me. But what do I know about sea gates? I mean, today I didn't even know how to scuba dive. And I somehow was able to fill a tank fine. And dive and swim and gears under the water. 
There we go. No, that's not it. We gotta do this. What? No, we, we need the chain on there, don't we? Why would you even give me the option to take it off? There we go. There we go, it's done. The gate is open and we can get out of here. Do I have to run back to the boat again? Wouldn't the townspeople be like, Oh damn, the thing is opening. Maybe it shouldn't be opening. Whatever. They're stupid. They won't notice. Wait, did she really go underwater with her feet exposed like that? Whatever. I guess the pressure wouldn't be bad that it wasn't very low. Well done, Kate. I could not have done better myself. Yeah, because you haven't done anything because you're useless. <sighs> well, if everything's ready, I'll I should go just and get sail the this. right away. In the meantime, I'll go and make sure that everything's all set. By the time you come back here with the nomads, we'll just have to cast off. Perfect. I'll see you later, Captain. Is she gonna auto-do that, or do I have to manually run all the way back and grab the yokels? Oh, no, it's a cinematic! Oh! <gasps> Why would you need papers to enter the... The nomads are putting all of their junk away! I'm honestly shocked it couldn't have just done this as a cutscene. Gotta go all the way over here and talk to the shaman. Which I assume is who I'm talking to. It is time. Mr. Hey. Walker found another way for the Yukos to cross Sacred Lake? Yes, it's unbelievable. I found a boat that can take all of you and your herd, too. The captain, Captain Obo, is waiting for us at the port. First, we all must wait Kirk. Guide of Yukos, made like new with his new magic leg. Simon Steiner, the Valsenbor clockmaker, finished Kirk's prosthesis and took it to the clinic. They're going to come down together and meet us on board the crystal. So Yukos make use of night to pick up entire camp. Much, much work for us tonight. <laughs> I wonder where that detective went. That's a scary fog. The ostriches are... Really? She knows how to ride ostriches, too? This lady does everything. Ha, well done! Great! Now oh, we're really getting somewhere. It's just a minor setback. As long as their spiritual guide is here, in our hands, the nomads are going nowhere. I hope you know what you're doing, Olga Efimova. The rest of my men won't be arriving for another few hours. It'll be hard to keep those savages here without breaking heads. And I don't want to create a scandal here in Balsam. Don't worry, Colonel. If we do it my way, we won't need your army of mercenaries to solve the Yukal problem once and for all. But how do we get him out? My god, what on earth can they be doing? What are they doing? Please calm down, Captain. 
Sarah promised to send Steiner and Kirk down as soon as they get there from the clinic. I'm sure they'll show up. It doesn't matter if they turn up now or an hour from now. We were supposed to leave before night time. I'm warning you, there's no way I'm taking my ship out onto the lake just when it's the monster's meal time. Listen, if it makes you feel better, we can leave tomorrow at dawn. Until then, I'll go see how everyone is getting on. And you try and calm down a bit. Everything will be fine, Captain. Go over the situation with my allies. Well, where are my allies at? Are they underneath the ship? Nobody tell- oh, okay. Who'll need much, much fresh air when ostriches leave? I'm assuming they're gonna be down underneath. It must be the only logical place. Both must not leave at night, Miss Catwalk. Alright, so I think... I'm not 100% sure on this. It wants me to go talk to the people at the hey. shop. Oh, hello. Let me yeah. guess, the guy never came because they never Is let him go. All right? It's Grandfather. He hasn't come back from the clinic. Duh. Maybe putting on Kirk's prosthesis took more time than he thought it would. That's just what I thought, too. But when I took the vernacular to go look for him in the clinic, I saw everything up there has been closed up, and there are armed men in the lobby. Oh, maybe those are the soldiers with that colonel who's chasing us. They're holding Grandfather. I just know it. I have to go save him. Young Tuck Moon is right. Miss Kate Walker must hurry and go back to clinic and save Kirk. Why and Grandfather, me? what will you do about him? What? Think? No way, I won't leave anyone behind. Miss Kate Walker must not forget all the things that Yukols did for her. Remember, you owe Grandfather a lot too. Like what? He's done nothing. Calm down, both of you. I'll bring them back, but I need the two of you to keep your heads. Miss Kate Walker must take this. We'll need it up there. Is What's it a that? gun? And how can you know what I might need? Spirits not just send really bad signs. <laughs> now, Miss Kate Walker must return back in clinic. I'm off. In the meantime, tell the captain to be ready to leave. Too bad if it's dark out. If the colonel and his men are really up there, we'll need to leave the second I come back here with Kirk. Am I gonna teleport there, or do I have to run? And... I don't know how to get there from here. Really, I have to run all... I don't know how to get to there. From here. How do I get to the clinic? Okay, I think maybe from the mayor's place. That might be a good start. Yo, drunk people. <laughs> Time at the bar, everybody. We're closed. Please leave before the police show up. Does anyone know how to get to the clinic? I need to get to the weird ominous clinic that is on a hill that looks very Wolfensteinish. Very creepy. Hello. Why is there a lighthouse up there? It wasn't there already lighthouses on the dock? None of this makes any sense. I hope this is the way to go. It's not like there's a map. Is this serious right now? Up. There we go. 
So there's the mayor. Police man, can you help me? Remove every last trace of those hooligans coming to our town. That's what Mayor Bulyakin said. Can anyone give me directions? Is this the way to the clinic up here? When the the railway thing up here be closed at this hour? I need to find something else. Or we could just break it down. Oh no. The soldiers must have called the funicular back after Sarah left. I have to find a way to send it down to the platform. Oh, wow, nothing in this is easy, is it? That's a pretty big gap. That's perfect for our knife that we no longer have. No way. Let's try something else. Impossible. That's not right. Not a chance. Nothing. It doesn't work. That's not right. Nothing. Let's try something else. Nice, right, so there's a large gap under the door. So we need to have something to open the door with. From around here, I think. Ugh. Did the doors just never open? Like, how am I to get this open? Can I just like smash a window? I would just smash a window. You're probably just crawling right there. Okay, is there anything up here that can help? What's over this way? Oops. Wedge. Another wedge. Should probably grab everything, right? Small wedge. Anything else? Nope. Okay. Got all the wedges. Broke a cart, but thankfully no one in this town heard me, because they're all, I don't know what they're doing. At the bar? Probably at the bar. Must be the nice thing about being in a small town, is just like, that's where everybody would hang out. Go to the bar. That's where you meet everybody. Alright, so we got wedges. Alright, so we're at the door, but the only way to get in the door is to put a small wedge first. So put a small wedge. Then we put a large wedge, and then we can take the small wedge out, and then we can put the small wedge over there, and then put the big wedge in. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. And then we wedge the door. Or am I supposed to click something? Impossible. That's not right. And then we take the small wedge out again, and then we use the small wedge under the door. It's 
small wedge under the door on this side, because that's where the hinges are. Why don't we just break the glass? Like, we just destroyed the door. We might as well have just, like, smashed the glass and climbed through or opened the door through the glass. That's what I would have done. Oh! <gasps> is that knife I've been waiting to use forever waiting here? Yeah, you know it is. I love this knife. Knife is everything. Here it comes. Here it comes now. Oh. <gasps> it's like in the Grand Budapest where they have the little tiny train. I love it. Soldiers won't be paying attention because they don't know what hit them. How do I get out of here? Oh. In the train car. Really, it doesn't auto drive itself. Up we go. This music's so happy. It's a long way to get up there. Why would you build a base? Well, I guess it's a base. Listen to my back. voice, young Yukel. Listen to the voice of a very dear friend. Kirk, you are the guide of your people. He who shows his Yukul brothers the path of modernity and progress. These archaic migrations that you persist in perpetuating are now but ridiculous reflexes. You must take your people back where they came from and have them settle down. Build real houses, schools, and factories. The nomadic life will no longer be possible in the world of tomorrow. I don't think it really works like that. Well, at least the gate is not locked. But I bet the door will be. A military device. Sarah was right. A military device? That's a helicopter. Military device. Oh, <gasps> we'll have to be sneaky. Howdy. Oh, <gasps> it's the good eye patch doctor guy. And if the American comes, Colonel? No if way. She's actually Let's try something else. Nothing. Can't leave while they're still there. And As for taking them on... Nomad. Olga Efimova is on it. Impossible. Let's try something else. That's not right. And, Sergeant? Dr. Efimova gives me the shivers. Indeed, me too, soldier. I need a distraction. Me too. Sabotages. Oh. Looking for a grenade. Walkie talkie. I like it. That's how we'll do it. We'll walkie-talkie them to death. 
They'll never see it coming. Alright, so we gotta use the walk and talkie. Roger, we got a weird one on the outside. This is Dr. Olga Efimova. Come in. Over. What's wrong, Olga? My God, but will you answer me? Colonel, the staff are dealing with a patient's revolt upstairs. We need you and your men immediately. Is there a reason your nurses can't take care of it? I'm calling you because they're overwhelmed. You must hurry up. We are starting to lose control of the situation. I hope you're not disturbing us for nothing, Olga Efimova. Ha ha ha. Alright, so I guess I need to go to the doctor's offices. Miss Walker, come quickly. It's a trap. Dr. Samiatine, but what's going on? It's Olga. She has brought her soldier friends into the clinic. Just after Steiner fitted Kirk's prosthesis, then the soldiers wanted to stop them from leaving. Steiner refused to listen to them. He kicked up a fuss. So they worked him over. My friend had an attack. Miss Walker. I'm here, Mr. Steiner. You have to save young Kirk. That woman, Olga, she's... A real monster, you know. Your enemy and that colonel. Protect the Yukols from those criminals. Make sure they get to their destination. You can count on me, Mr. Steiner. What do you intend to do, Dr. Zamiatine? I'll take care of my friend Steiner, of course. The poor man needs help. I'm thinking of hiding him in a secret passage until the soldiers have left. But you, Miss Walker, hurry and help young Kirk. Told you this was gonna happen, dumbass. My dear Miss Walker, your medallion, the heart, you know, it's in very good condition. It contains a lot of essential data from an XZ-2000 automaton. Everything as it were, you understand, on that particular model, the heart and intelligence were intermingled. So then, it wouldn't take all that much for you to get your friend Oscar back one day. Oh! <gasps> wow! I... Yes, Mr. Steiner. Of course. I'll remember. It doesn't look very good. Why is everybody so fat in this? Everybody eats well here. Is he in here? Why am I going in here? Oh, he is in here. Kirk? Completely fascinated. Listen to me, Kirk. You've got to snap out of it. Paper clip. Always need one of those. When those papers fall out now. Oh, never mind. They're 
they're kind of like stuck in there on that clipboard. No way. There we go. Can we talk in the machine thing? Nope, okay. Yeah. No, injecting him with an empty syringe could kill him. No, injecting him with an empty syringe could kill him. Okay, well, what would you suggest I do? That's not right. Let's try something else. The shaman's beverage. What? Who saw this coming? Enjoy. That's a lot of liquid to be in. Kate. Whatever. Kate Walker? What on earth are you doing here? Ah, this is magic. I've come to free I'll you and your people. Later, Kirk. We have to get back to the tribe right away. They're waiting for us to cross the lake. This is a very complicated machine. I've got to give them that on the ingenuity. Why is this so complicated? There's a note stuck underneath. Is it the code? Not gonna read that? I can't believe the solution was just to hit it. Let's get out of here. Shouldn't we lift him up? I mean, he's got a prosthetic. Hey! He's short. He's not going to run very fast. Those guys are going to outrun him easily. Why wouldn't they just shoot her? Get them. All they have to do is shoot. I highly just fire at them. I don't see how this chase makes any sense. They would have just shot him twice with the AK and they would have been dead. And there's no way they would have outrun them either. The guy hasn't just been stuck in a chair for a long time. I mean, whatever. Let's go with it. Thank you for coming back for me, Kate Walker. Did you see how fast I can run on my new leg? Yes, Simon Steiner is definitely a genius craftsman. mechanism we're gonna have to jump whoa that looks safe there goes the town's transportation to the clinic whoa I just got real action. Hey. 
Your father's dead. Grandfather, did you find him? Isn't he with you now? Your grandfather had another attack, I'm afraid. But Dr. Zamiatin stabilized him and is looking after him. He's got a good chance of making it this time, too. Kate Walker, we have to go. I have to go, Sarah. Thanks for everything you and your grandfather have done for us. No, but thank you, Kate. Here, please take this scarf so that you will remember us. It's magnificent. Thank you, Sarah. It was fairly generic. Goodbye, Kate Walker. Another time, another place. You have underestimated that woman, Dr. Olga Efimova. Doubtless. But the game isn't over yet, Colonel. Indeed. We're just getting started. And we are going to change the rules as well. Really, you're drinking on the. I should have just sailed this thing. I'm not sure drinking at the helm is a great idea, Captain. It's not a great idea to go sailing off into these waters at the Lake Spirit's mealtime either. In fact, it's completely insane. Captain, uh -huh. please don't start talking again about that so called. <laughs> it's him! It's the lake monster! Oh my god! Not at all, Captain. Look outside. It's ice. Mm -hmm. Just what we needed. We can't go around? That will take us off the route for Nahodotsk. We'd end up losing far too much time. We'd be better off trying to use the crystal's breakers to get through the ice instead. Go on down into the machine room and try to start them up. Oh, come on. All right, I'm going. You gotta be kidding right me. on the double, please. Because if we stay stuck like this, we're just like a worm wriggling about on the end of a hook for that monster lurking below us. 